Hi friends. So my wife and I just recently bought the Free Solo uh, DIN DIN, which stands for Dinet model. Um, so this was about as big of a camper as we could do. We looked at smaller teardrops and um, we just decided we didn't want to be crawling in through the sides and we really liked the features of this uh, queen size bed in the back uh, dinette table in the front a uh, little wet bath uh, bathroom in the middle and the uh, cook area but when i was looking up these on youtube i couldn't find the details that i wanted so i thought well i'll make a video and explain the details that i was looking for to you so one of them, I was trying to find out from my salesman, what size ball does this trailer need to be towed? Um, <clears throat> he never did answer me. So it is a two inch diameter ball for the tongue. Um, class four, if that matters. I didn't matter to me, but maybe it matter to you. Uh, the other question that I had was what kind of wiring harness did I need on my vehicle to activate the camper. Um, <clears throat> and I was even told it was a four flat. It's not, it's the seven pin. So this gives you the capability of charging, recharging your battery, which is not here at the moment, um, while you're driving. Uh, has the brake actuator, this trailer does have uh, brakes on it so you can activate those so that was important for me to know because I only had one day to get my Jeep ready to be able to tow this because I got the information so late um, <coughs> this particular one came with a 400 amp crank hour cold cranking amp hour uh, battery I'm actually putting in a bigger one. I'm going to put in a 600. Uh, I just want a little bit more capability and I am hoping someday to add a solar panel. We'll see. Uh, so over here, um, it's got 15 inch wheels on it. Uh, kind of off-road aggressive looking wheels, which is nice. Uh, the spare is a full size, but very plain, like all terrain type of tire. And I'm going to crawl under here and show you guys that here. Okay, so the camera cut out on us. Sorry about that. Uh, they are a ST235 75R15. So it is a 15-inch rim. Uh, it is a full-size spare tire, but more of an all-terrain tread. So just enough to basically get you back out or to a place to fix your tire if something happens. Um, one little note, the mounting bolts through the frame, they've got these like three or four, about three inches still exposed. So I'm actually going to go around and cut those off and clean that up. I don't like them sticking them down all around the camper. Um, it does have a pretty decent compartment, uh, totally across through underneath the bed. Uh, I was thinking maybe a like Christmas wrapping totes might be handy something like that to keep keep stuff tight does have the small receiver hitch so if you want to add like a bike rack or the little uh, carriage rack back here you can uh, it is independent of like the rear bumper so it's got its own bracket and is welded outside to the frame uh, it does only have jack stands in the back for stabilization in the front you have to use the, the tongue jack it's only got one LED light strip for the outside when you're going in and out that you can turn on uh, it's a pretty basic camper but I think it'll be great for us to pull with a, a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited okay I'm gonna take you underneath Okay guys, so we're about to go underneath the camper. 
So I just wanted to show the propane line comes back and has this five-way uh, splitter here so that, you know, it goes up to the stove um, and the heater. The refrigerator is electric, so I'm not sure what else that's going to, but three lines are going up. Here's our water drain line, and I'll show you the tank. So this particular model, the tank is underneath and is about like three and a half inches thick and pretty good size fitting between the bracing, the cross members of the camper. And if I remember right, they said this is a 24 gallon capacity. So then next is our gray water tank. Uh, you can see the sensor wires for the level so you know when to empty it when it's full. Um, I don't know the capacity of it. Um, looks like it's got to be close to 16 or so gallons for the gray water. Um, then next, oh, we're getting underneath here. So then next we've got the black water tank and a little bit smaller, but it's got your three inch plumbing out to the drain system. Um, so I wanted to show you why I'm down here. So you can see some of the wiring. Here's the brake wires. Uh, it is electric down to the brakes. Um, and then you can see the suspension is like a torsion suspension. It's got a full bar, or axle bar across, but then it's this torsion, sp like spring-loaded system. So that I thought was kind of unique and hopefully holds up well. I don't know much about them. Um, there you can see the spare tire. And it's just basically an all-terrain tread. I uh, haven't figured out how you get it out. It looks like it, like you actually have to crawl under and then like uh, manually spin like the butterfly nut that's holding it up. I didn't see anywhere where you use like a crank handle to lower it on a cable. Um, then also you can see where they, one of the, propane lines comes across to the back on the other side and that lets you hook up an outside barbecuer with a quick disconnect. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be using that. I might even take it off. We'll see if it gets snagged on anything. But anyway, that's the underneath guys and just wanted to give you some information that I was not able to get.